Hey, I don't know about you, but I am a massive fan of oracle decks and tarot decks, specifically astrology based ones. So in this video today, I am going to share with you my <laughs> most loved and coveted astrology decks. <laughs> So join me to learn more about which astrology decks I absolutely love. Let's dive in. Okay, so I couldn't go past mentioning my own Business Astrology Oracle Deck. This is being published by Hay House and it will be available um, from the 31st of December 2024, but pre-order is open from October 1st, 2024. So if you're watching this anytime after October 1st, 2024, you can pre-order this deck or perhaps by the time you're watching this video, it might be ready. So I'll pop some links below this video on how to get your hands on it. This deck is so special because it is a first of its kind business astrology oracle deck. It's going to teach you how to apply astrology to your business and how to decode your own business chart. And that's what makes this deck so special. It comes in a beautiful flip top box. So you'll see it opens up like this, has a beautiful guidebook inside with a number of business specific oracle spreads. And then we have, I'm just going to randomly pick a card to share with you. Oh, beautiful. I pulled the earth card. I'm trying to get it to, <laughs> yeah, that's not too bad there. So this is the earth card and persist. Gorgeous cards, beautiful backs to them. So highly recommend you get this Astrology Oracle deck to help you supporting your businesses day to day, but also help you decoding your business astrology chart. So another deck that I purchased very recently uh, when this deck was launched is the Cosmic Astrology Oracle by Tanaz Chop. Now, I follow Tanaz's uh, website, um, an amazing website, just uh, Forever Conscious is the website. Um, I'm subscribed to her astrology updates and I really love her work. So when I saw she was uh, producing her own astrology deck, I had to check it out. So I love a few things about this deck. I love it because firstly, the designs are super like shiny and um like iridescent i think i just showed you that one oh my god i keep showing the same one hey right, look at this one uh, it's just like cosmosy it's hard to kind of see via video but they're all like shiny and iridescent i think they're just a gorgeous design but what i also really love about this deck is that she covers things that i haven't seen in a lot of other astrology decks so she covers some different constellations and fixed stars that you won't necessarily have seen in other decks. So ones like Antares, Regulus, the Pleiades, um, uh, Aldebaran, uh, the Galactic Center, Andromeda. So there's a whole lot of ones that you won't necessarily have heard of before. And that's what I think makes this deck really special comes with a lovely um, guidebook as well. Okay, so that is Oracle deck number two. The next one is also quite a new deck that I also purchased um, during, I think like a pre-order period. And I found out about this from my friend, Kira Sutherland, uh, who is a medical astrologer. And some people she knew were launching this deck. Now this is quite a small deck. Um, like it's maybe 20 cards or something like that. But it's all about the fixed stars, which again, we don't always see a lot of astrology oracle decks covering the fixed stars. Um, my deck, for example, didn't cover any of the fixed stars. So um, this deck is called the Bohemian Fixed Stars. Um, and again, some really lovely artwork. This is for Sirius. Um, and then 
show show you a uh, regulus so really lovely they're quite a nice large card size and then they come with um, a guidebook there's no box when I purchased this deck it came in like a little black pouch um, but really quite detailed um, both like the mythology information interpretation all of that sort of thing so really loving this specialist oracle deck um, so another deck that is published by my publisher, Hay House, and that I think is super unique is the Herbal Astrology Oracle by Adriana Ayalis. Um, I purchased this recently, um, and it just feels incredibly potent and depth, beautiful artwork. Um, I actually, this is a copy of the deck I hadn't opened yet. I had opened a previous copy of it. Um, and then I had gifted it on. So um, look at the design on the back of the cards. Super sweet. I love it. And then uh, I'm going to pick a herb that I feel like I can pronounce. Okay. So we have Milk Thistle, the Peaceful Warrior. And you'll see that they are different herbs and flowers, but we also have astrological correspondences on them so we can see at the top of this card there's mars and the moon and if we look up um milk thistle um yeah i'm just having a look there's quite a long interpretation i haven't dove into this too far but um yes okay so for each card she has the astrological ruler um, for that card. So she has found a way to really blend um, these uh, beautiful herbs with astrology. And so I'd say this deck probably falls under more of a medical astrology deck. Really beautiful deck though, um, and just a really lovely deck for pulling each day. The messages. My right, guys, I've still got a lot of decks to go through. There's lots of amazing astrology decks out there. So another one published by my publisher is um, the Moonology Manifestation Oracle Cards. Now, I don't think this was Yasmin's first uh, Oracle deck. This one I like for a very specific reason. I like it because it is a great deck to use when planning a launch. Um, because what I like to do with this deck, gorgeous um, backs of the cards, is I like to pull um, the new moon card for when I'm launching the first quarter moon, the full moon, and then the last quarter moon. So she just has those four phases covered in this deck. Um, I love to pull each of them and then use that to help guide me through the different energies in my launch period. Okay. So as an example, let's say I was launching under a new moon in Aries. The card says, go for it. If I was launching on a first quarter moon in Leo, the card says, be humble. Uh, I'm just randomly selecting these, by the way. It's if I launched um, or was culminating my launch under a full moon in Libra, the card says, find a balance. And then under last quarter moon in Gemini, clear your mind. So yeah, I actually use these cards to show people how to energetically tune in to the energy when they're launching. I teach how I like to use these cards if I level two business astrology certification. This deck is a fabulous, like broad purpose astrology deck. Um, it's one that I've recommended to my students in the level one business astrology certification to really embed their basic astrology knowledge. So it's called the Black Moon Astrology Cards by Susan Shepherd. Um, this one is a Blue Angel um, deck um, as the publisher. Um, it has a really great detailed um, guidebook. Like there's quite a lot of detail for each card. Um, it gives you kind of a, a traditional interpretation, but then also the Virgo card in brief, the corresponding tarot card and some key ideas for each card, which I really like. Uh, just to show you an example, this is the card for the water element. I'll give you one more example from this deck. And Jupiter Abundance. 
okay so this is the black moon astrology card deck it's a really good one when you're learning the basic archetypes in astrology so the next one is actually created by one of my students this student has been through the level one certification she has a fantastic business called Mystic Mondays and her name is Grace Duong and this is her Astro Alignment Deck. Now I actually picked these up for my students when I was going, uh, so when I led my retreat in Tulum in 2023 and I wanted to do an exercise called the Four Directions and it's a very like embodied um, astrology exercise. And so I wanted quite simple cards um, for them to use for this exercise. And what I really liked about these cards is that, yeah, they're really quite simple to use in this exercise. And I'm actually going to be doing a video series um, early next year where I'll talk more about this particular exercise. But, yeah, I really liked they were they were just like really... And I don't mean simple in a bad way. I just mean just like really clear on what each card was. They were perfect for this activity. Comes with a beautiful guidebook. Um, Colour in the guidebook, which I really love. I think the black pages are amazing, make the information really stand out. And a lot of really great astrological information in here. So this is definitely a great um, deck. Um, yeah, a beautiful box. So the next one is one of the early decks that I used when I first started teaching my certification, um, and that is the Heavenly Bodies Astrology Deck by Lily Ashwell. It's a gorgeous deck. Um, again, it's a really good general overview of astrology. Great when you're first learning astrology to embed all the different archetypes of the planets and the signs and the houses and all that sort of thing. Um, the guidebook gives a really good introductory section um, for people that aren't used to astrology, so I love that. And she has really great interpretations, um, general interpretations, keywords, experiences, the shadow side, um, what it might mean as an omen in a card pool. So really lovely. Comes in this beautiful box. We can pull out the um, box like that. And pull them out and um, back of the cards. And then we've got, yeah, this is the Pisces card. They're quite um, um, uh, a muted kind of flowing design style. So they might not be everyone's cup of tea from design, but um, it's a really great deck. Really great when you're first learning astrology. It's one of the ones I recommend to my students when they're first learning astrology. So that is um, that one. Now, I've got one more to go. How many amazing, these are not even all the astrology decks out there, guys. Um, finally, I wanted to share with you this deck that I bought called the Numinous Astro Deck by Ruby Warrington. Um, so this is a really interesting deck. I find that it is not traditional in a lot of ways. So I don't necessarily think it's the best deck when you're first learning astrology because some of her interpretations are not what I'd call the more traditional interpretations. And I think it's best, kind of like when you're learning tarot, I think it's best to learn the tarot first with a traditional deck and then use other types of tarot decks. Same goes for this deck. So some of her interpretations are quite different to what I've seen in other places. Um, but the style I really love, this quite stark, photo collage style definitely was a um, inspiration to me with style when I was designing the first iteration of my deck um, but yeah a really really lovely deck comes with this great book large sized book and really you know decent length interpretation so that is the numinous deck so I hope you've loved my uh, Oracle Deck Roundup, Astrology Oracle Deck Roundup. And I really hope you'll grab a copy of my deck that has been published by Hay House UK, um, the Business Astrology Oracle Deck. This deck specifically looks at 
all of the different astrological placements, but how they relate to your business, what this might mean in your business chart and gives you beautiful, supportive affirmations for the day to day of running your business as well. So I really hope you'll check out the Business Astrology Oracle Deck.